If you're in the market for a high-end fifth wheel, this video is for you. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I'm at Explorer USA RV uh, Super Center. And I was talking to the manager. And he's a very nice manager indeed. Very nice people here. And he said, you got to check out this new uh, Tiffin product. Uh, their Van Lay uh, subdivision. Uh, and of course, they make the Beacon, which is their very nice uh, fifth wheel. Of course, I can't tow it with my puny truck, but maybe you can. So there's the right, the, the passenger side. I'm gonna show you the right side, and then I'm gonna give you a tour all the way around, and then we're gonna go inside. Don't forget you. Don't forget to uh, pause this video at any time because I shoot it in 4K. I don't shoot it in HD. This is not a budget operation. This is 4K. So he said it was uh, connected to uh, 50 amp and the AC is going. I appreciate that. It gets hot here in Texas today. It's gonna be over 100 like always. So I'm just gonna show you the outside. I'm not gonna open any boxes. So this is the Rotoflex Trail Air uh, by Lippert. A nice uh, pin box there. There's some storage in there. Again, I'm not gonna open it up. But they do have uh, a connection for the solar charge right there plenty of storage outside plugs beautiful step let me back up so there's a the front I'm right next to a Springdale you can get one of these cheap you can get this but you're gonna be paying a pretty penny for it again you can contact the folks here and they'll be more than happy to sell it to you because they're super nice and very generous. I love the paint job. I lo I've always loved purple. It's a beautiful color. And of course they have Westlake tires, higher quality Chinese tires, not the cheap ones. And they have Schwintex slides all the way around. Because the slides are so small, they're not taking out a lot of stuff, they can use a Schwintex. On the heavier uh, items, they use the uh, other slides, which can handle and these are hydraulic from what I could stand, see? But maybe they're electric, I don't know. Uh, you. And it has the Equiflex suspension. So let me go around. Let me head back here. I'm in Texas. And it's muy caliente. Very hot. There's a side view. They haven't washed it, they just got it in, so. Yeah, six slides. Quite nice. Let me go pan up and pan down. Don't forget, I don't work for Tiffin, I don't work for Beacon, I don't work for Van Lay, I don't work for YouTube, I don't work for anybody. I'm retired, so this is just my opinion. So, but I do like the Beacon products, they're very high quality, and I don't get a commission. Yes, I would love to make a commission on this, but uh, I'm just doing it for free, because again, I'm a nice guy. There's a hot water and a heating, uh, uh, doors there and let's go look at this a little close up for a few seconds there's the gray and black tank you know controls the pump the winterizing system the tank fill your outdoor shower your water filter and your low pump drain and of course your cable goes in there very nice now some storage back here. They just uh, still have a bunch of plastic. So I'm pretty sure they'll give it a nice wax. Maybe not. Uh, at least they'll wash it for you and clean it up for you. 
if I own this, I'd probably give it a wax. Why not? Just give it a nice, good, 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 good wax, and you won't have to do it for several years. And it makes it look so shiny, so pretty. So I'm gonna back up, and then we're gonna go take a peek at the roof. I'm gonna climb that stair on the right. See that little stair on the right? I'm gonna climb that and take a picture of the roof. Back in a second. So I'm on the ladder, showing you the uh, Coleman Mac air conditioner. There's some vents, a second AC unit, and for this size, you definitely have to get the third AC unit. You can see the antenna on the right, and some uh, vent covers. Don't forget, you can always replace those vent covers with something a little bit higher quality. So, this is it. A ladder view by Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I'm gonna go back down. I'm afraid of heights. You can probably hear the air conditioning cooling off this unit. For some folks, they say, hey, they want whisper quiet, but this is definitely not whisper quiet. It's a little bit noisy. Maybe it, uh, after it cools down this uh, fifth wheel, it'll get less noisy. So there, here's a view of the big screen TV. Three cabinets to the left, three cabinets to the right. Two cabinets below the TV, and below the TV you have your uh, Furion Auto, audio rather, system. And it's a nicer Furion audio system with two speakers. And of course they also have the Furion decorative fireplace with a little bit of heat. It also uh, heats up this unit a bit on those cool mornings. So let's get a close-up. Wow, a little bouncy. So there's the Furion head unit. It does have an HDMI connection. Furion speaker. Furion designed and engineered for mobile applications. Uh, built-in uh, fireplace slash heater. Let's open this up. This opens up that way. Several connections in the back. HDMI connection, always appreciated. Let's see what's on this one. Some plugs in the back, some receptacles. Beautifully well-constructed cabinetry. That rolls out very nice. Uh, steel glides, metal glides, solid hardwood uh, fronts. Beautifully boxed and sanded drawers. Definitely appreciate it. Look at this. Very nice. Very high quality. Some say, hey, why is it not dovetailed? Well, that would require some uh, Amish craftsman's, craftsmanship. And apparently there's none of those in uh, Amish folks in Mississippi at this time making these things. Well, they should start a program to bring them on down. The Coachman uh, Galleria, which sells for about a hundred grand, a little Class B travel trailer. They have Amish workers in their Indiana plant. So this goes back a bit. Beautifully finished. Little accent light right there. Nicely done. Nice, uh, nice woodwork here. You have some USB plugs and uh, some uh, AC receptacles also. Again, uh, attention to detail. This would differentiate a high end product from a cheaper unit. I have all the uh, light shades down. I don't have them all. They have two shades. One to a uh, little privacy shade and the one to blackout. I don't have the uh, blackout done uh, down on most of these uh, windows. So here's the various shades and the interior of this uh, Van Lay product. 
very nice beautiful lights and again let's look on top you gotta like it huh very high quality there's a light sconce the king jack antenna and there's a little noisy noisy little air conditioner whoops fell down I gotta put it back before they let me see does it stick back there yeah it gets back there Ah, oh, you gotta be careful. At least I gotta be careful. So, uh, what I showed you on the right side goes for what's on the left side. Essentially, they match. And again, what I showed you on the right side goes for what's on the left side here, okay? So you got a sofa. You have recliners, and then you have another sofa. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here just hanging out with you, eating all your food, eating all your beer, drinking all your beer, and uh, they have glow uh, in the night uh, cups, so in case you're a little too intoxicated. And of course they have light, massage, and heat. And you can control your lights right here, right here. So again, let me emphasize, I cannot afford this unit. Maybe you can afford it. Uh, I really like uh, the Vanlay products I've owned ever since they came out a couple years ago. Very high quality hinges, quality wood product uh, construction, nice matte glaze. A little bit rough, but maybe they wanted it that way. This is, has a gloss to it, but this is a little bit rough. And of course, uh, pocket screwed. Can't complain about that. Great hinges. Let me try the other one, see if it's rough. This one's smoother. This one's rougher. Smoother. Rougher. Weird. Weird. And to the right of these chairs, you have USB and um, a vent for your heating and uh, some plugs, AC plugs and USB plugs. Perfect. And of course, when you're watching TV, you want these two chairs. You want to be in these two chairs, okay? So I'm going to go downstairs and check out downstairs so you can get a shot here of what's what you can see before you go downstairs. Let me go to the right here again. Very nice. I'm not gonna open up those cabinets. Maybe I did open those cabinets. Don't forget, I might have be having a senior moment. Maybe I did open those cabinets. Did I or didn't I? You have to go back in the video and see. Nice little glow in the dark. Um, handles there. And of course they do have very nice controls here. There's the main control, there's the lights, there's the air conditioning. This has three AC units. You know, all the different slides. You can check your fans and your awnings, two awnings, and uh, your settings if you want to use uh, Fahrenheit or uh, Celsius, etc, etc. Very nice. So you have two rows of lights. Two rows of vents and this uh, beautiful ceiling treatment. Let's go downstairs and check out the galley. Lovely floors. So here's a view of the galley. Have a nice mirror, convection microwave, all Furion products, Furion uh, stovetop. Furian oven and a Whirlpool refrigerator. Above the refrigerator you have a I think it's a Max fan or a, I'm not sure it could be a fantastic fan. 
who knows? I have to go on top of the roof and check. So this is an area where you can put some stuff. It's a perfect little spot for your uh, toaster, your coffee pot. Of course, you don't leave it there while you're going down the road. <laughs> that would be an accident waiting to happen, but you put them away and then you put them there when you're finally stopped. So let's take a peek over here. Some nice storage. In fact, let's open them all up and uh, see what it looks like. So they have these um, wires to protect the refrigerator. Down here, this uh, one, it's not working very good. It bangs right into it. So I've suggested to the uh, management that they work on that. Put a little silicon bump stop in the meantime, because obviously the folks at Van Lee didn't think that one out. Maybe the refrigerator comes out more than it's supposed to. Maybe it's supposed to go in there a little bit more. Who knows? There's some storage under here. No, there is no storage under here. This is where the fuse box is. I was mistaken. Again, that's the fuse box. They have some GFCI receptacles there. More storage here. And uh, more storage down there. Again, very high quality plywood box construction with metal glides. Beautiful door fronts, nice glaze, very nice, high quality. Let me close uh, the fuse box door. That's what I'll call it. It's the fuse box door. More storage over there. Let's, this one I'm not going to open. This one I'm not going to open, but I'll open these two. And this one has, again, the little wire to protect the refrigerator. Good size uh, storage. I would think it's about uh, 30 inches across at about 8 inches deep. Plenty of storage there for cans, products, boxes, whatever you want. That's the bottom of the slide for the refrigerator. And this slide right here, of course, is the not the Schwintex slide, it's the other slide. Schwintex slides are good for, uh, you know, U dinettes and a bed, extension part of a bed. But for refrigerators, stoves, microwaves, and all this stuff, you need a more substantial slide mechanism. Whirlpool. Beautiful little... Uh, Refrigerator, I figure it's worth about two grand. At least it's worth two grand now before somebody dents it with the side of the cabinet. <laughs> Let me open it up for you. Right now it's uh, got the little, everything's still in storage. I mean, packed up, ready to go. Again, this is a two grand, $2,000 refrigerator. It's not the $3,000 refrigerator. It's not the $4,000 refrigerator. It's not the $5,000 refrigerator. It's a $2,000 refrigerator. It's pretty wide though, not very deep. I think it's counter depth. Up there you could put some storage. Let me just open one of them up. That is quite long. That's about 24 inches back and about 36 inches wide. Plenty of room up there. Oh, let's get to the microwave, uh, combination microwave convection oven. Good size, good size more storage up here and uh, let me open both of these and again the one on the left has a wire to protect the finish and there's some plugs very nice there's a shot of the microwave I wish I had a wider lens I'm trying to save up to get a wider lens one of these days maybe a Laowa 7.5 f2 Michael Four Thirds lens for my camera. If anybody wants to give me one, just uh, send it my way. I could use one. This is the Furian stovetop. Beautiful. This is definitely no budget uh, stovetop. It's a Furian brand. Looks like you can give it the spark right there. So what do you think of this oven? Very nice. And of course, the, all the countertops are A plus Corian. Absolutely gorgeous. My wife would love that. 
and a lot of men too, not just m women, but men would appreciate a good countertop. And so there's the uh, oven. It has plasticky little knobs here that look almost metallic, but they are plastic. And this is a nice, good size oven. Very good size oven. Bigger than most units that I've seen out there. So it's a good size oven. And it has a little display in front. So that's another Furion product. Let me see what's under here. Ooh. Let me back up. More storage. You can put quite a few items. I'm not gonna kick it in like some of these uh, salesmen, dealerships just kick the bottom shelves in with their little feet. This unit deserves a lot more respect. So you have one, two, and this one's a bit bigger, three. Look at that, very deep, very deep. So you have one, two, three, and then you have some plugs right there, some receptacles. And then you have under kitchen storage. Let me open this all up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's all tidy under there. Some manufacturer it looks like a, a total mess under there, but this is very well organized. You can definitely put a little garbage can right there. And you have some plugs. Excellent. Here we are inside the unit, uh, looking at the sink. Let me move this material to the left and right so you can get a basic idea. These are very deep. I estimate about six inches deep yeah, by about maybe six inches by ten inches and about, yeah, very nice, very nice. Eight by ten by six. That's what I meant. <laughs> And uh, beautiful, beautiful, solid steel, solid brass, whatever it is. It's metal. It's not, and then, of course, it goes down like that. And put it back. Hey, put it back. Stay there. Stay there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it does not want to stay in its little spot. Let me let me slam it in there. Anybody got a sledgehammer so we can put, fix that? has a little notch here. Let me see where the notch goes. It goes back here. Let me see if I can get it. There it goes. Ah, took me a while to figure that out. With that lizard brain that I have, it's not, I'm not too bright, you know. And then you have a mirror on this side. Beautiful little tiny lights and some larger lights. And above me you have these registers and this mirror sort of uh, going across. Very nice. And these little LED lights. What do you think of these little LED lights? Beautiful. Okay, we're going to look across to the dinette. Beautiful little dinettes set. Two standard chairs and a couple folding chairs. That's standard for most uh, fifth wheels. Let me get a close-up of the chair so you can see what it looks like. That's the material. Very, very nice. And again, the window treatments are also very nice. I'm going to back up for this gigantic uh, dinette window. That is large. Wow! That is significant. It goes pretty high. And that slide goes up quite high. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you have this little area over here. I wonder if this opens up. Nope, it just stays there. That's perfectly fine. Let me open up these up. Let me open at least one side. And let me open this part down here. Plenty of storage. The bottom one's a little bit larger. Two smaller units. Plywood right here. Nice finish. And this one's a little larger, perfect for uh, boxes of cereal, boxes of, uh, you know, essentially packaged goods. So, just simple little glazed plywood. And then this slides out. 
So you can put all your, uh, some items in there. It has some plugs in the back. And then you have the storage. And then you have the storage. And you have a light. Very nice. Let me close this. I always worry about stuff. If you put like a toaster, a juicer, or whatever in there, if it's gonna slide around and just be totally trashed by the time you get somewhere. So here we are, we're going into the uh, bathroom to the right. There's a bedroom to, straight ahead and we're gonna go to the bathroom on the right. So as you walk in, you have your ceramic toilet. Very nice, very nice indeed. Even has a sprayer, wow. Then you have right across from there, you have a double sink. And of course, it's all Corian countertops. They didn't cheap out in the bathroom. Some places just use Corian in one part and another. And uh, wow, this is this is actually a porcelain, a porcelain sink. Amazing, I really like that. And beautiful faucets, beautiful backsplash. And you have four plugs back there. So you have one, two, three, four drawers, and the bottom of course is larger. Uh, more storage there, more storage there. Let's open them up. Very neat and well organized. Plenty of space there for a little garbage can. Yes, we all produce garbage, so we gotta find a place to put it. You just can't have a little plastic bang a bag rather dangling from the uh, some knob. So yeah, these are all very nice. Let me look at the bottom one, which is good size. That's a little box. <laughs> I thought it'd be bigger, but it's a nice little box here. I guess it's something under there that's blocking the way so they can make it bigger. More storage here, access to your plumbing. And again, let's look at the sink. Final shot of the sink. And right here, this one has a little bonus item, whatever this is. It's almost like a beaten, it locks into place. And what do we got here? Plenty of room for your shampoo, your conditioners, your soaps, your shaving kit, uh, various accessories for your, and each one of these opens up and looks very nice. You can put all kinds of stuff back there. His and hers, or hers and hers, or his and his, whatever your preference. You got plenty of room in there. And I know again, I love these little lights. Very, very tasteful. And then on top, you got a fan, a large fan. I don't know if that's a Fantastic or a Max Air. And above the uh, shower, and looking towards the sky, you have a little skylight. Let's back up and look at the shower. Unless you're uh, eight foot tall, <laughs> this, there's no problems with the headroom in this one. And look at that shower, that's a gigantic shower. Wow, very nice. You have a little area so you can sit there. And if you're older, you need to sit down and take a shower. Or if uh, you're shaving your legs, be you a gal or a boy shaving your legs. I know some men who shave their legs because they're athletes. They want that because they're swimmers. They want to be more aerodynamic. Very interesting, huh? So you got a little soap dish. Genuine plastic, very nice. And this is, looks like plastic too. They could have used higher quality, but they decided to go with plastic. Their choice. But this surround is pretty substantial. Even got a little towel rack right there. And you got a controls for your lights, etc., etc. Let me swing around real quick and give you another view of this uh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous and very large bathroom. Wow. Very nice. Okay, and of course right here you have another cabinet right above the toilet. That's a good size. That's very nice size. So, let's go into the bedroom. There's two entrances to the bedroom. Let's walk in. And this is one of the larger slides. Actually, these are two different slides or maybe one slide. I don't know. I get all confused about these slides. So we're on the other side of the bathroom, bedroom rather. There is a TV. 
There's some uh, storage. There's your dressers. This one's is quite high. One, two, three, four. And then you have six over here. That's plenty, huh? Those are large. Again, that's about a good uh, six, seven inches high. You can stack quite a bit of stuff in here. Let me open a couple, just one of these, just, just as an example. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, let's go up here and see what's going on. This goes back. Goes back about uh, nine inches, eight to six inches. I can't tell. It's a little dark back there. Let me see. Oh, it's about seven inches. Let's just say seven. Has a little light fixture on top. Let's take a pan of the top area. Two there. Two doors there. Two doors there. Bunch of <laughs> more storage over there. And then you got this gigantic closet. And there's a narrow. It's a what's that saying? It's an arrow pointing me towards this direction. What does it do? It goes this way. Okay. I'm following orders. And uh, this is an area where you can store more stuff. Store more stuff and have a light. And again, this is goes back quite a ways. You can put your Tupperware containers of equipment back there. And this is the closet. A very nice closet indeed. I wonder what's behind that little... There's something there. I do not know what. Who knows? So this is a closet. Goes, uh, this is a nice little... area we can store some clothes, some items. Let me close this. This mattress has cut off corners. This is a custom mattress. It's not just a standard mattress. It's a custom mattress. That's good in one way and it's bad in another. So if you want to replace this mattress after a few years, you say, hey, it's a little too stiff or too soft for me. Uh, it doesn't work for me. You can't replace it simply with a 60 by 80 or king size, whatever size you want, queen or king. You have to get a custom mattress. So, so there we are. This is beautifully decorated. Nice little pillows, nice bedspread. Very nice indeed. And above it all, let's go above and pan up. You have the uh, fan, various vents, various speakers, various lights. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, there's the other door. Let's go that direction. You have uh, control of the lights right here. And the various slides, a couple of slides, the vanity slide, etc., etc. And down here, you have a little corner for storage. Every space is utilized. There's the uh, plugs, there's the light switch. I do not know what that is. So. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it quite a bit. It's uh, The interior choices are not overtly feminine. They're actually somewhere in the you know good masculine taste, I think. It's, uh, it's not uh, frilly in any way. I like it. It has a very good feeling for me. I have a very good feeling about this unit. Some plugs over here. Some uh, 110 receptacles and USB. Let me see there's some on the other side, just to be nosy, since I'm being nosy anyway. Yes, you have more receptacles over there, and you have controls over there, and you have a window to the left and a window to the right. Amazing! And then you have a window yeah, over there, so you get a lot of ventilation. Since you have three AC units in this, in this uh, tr fifth wheel, you definitely can keep cool during the summer. So we're walking back, walking through the unit, walking to the area over here, and saying, wow, this is very, very nice. The TV, I'm doing a quick pan, 
And there's a little view again of this uh, fifth wheel by Van Lee, by Tiffin. So if you have any questions, you can contact Explorer USA, RV Super Center, and ask them questions, or your nearest uh, Van Lee uh, dealership. I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to help you with this $110,000 fifth wheel. And maybe you can get a better deal. You never know. You can always try, huh? So this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.